Hey well guys, it's Fish here and welcome back to some more Hearts of Iron co-op Let's Play. I'm joined by Diplex. Hello. And the Prussian Prince. Hello. And yeah, so we're back uh, getting ready for the war. It's only what a month, a year and a couple months away, which is get so it's getting close. Yep. Definitely exciting yeah. stuff. A guy told me or asked me to change the uh the guy that's commanding the British Expeditionary Force was apparently French, the general. Uh, I don't, I can't remember his first name, but apparently he was related to him because his last name was French as well. Um, I don't know if that is true or just a coincidence, but well, mm -hmm. if it's now if that's not the case, then I shall much oblige him by doing so. Does so, Field really Marshal French. French. Yes. All right. Ready to unpause? Yeah. Uh, you guys doing stuff? Uh, let me just make sure all the, the sliders are what they sh what they should be. Oh yeah, and people have been yelling at me to make sure that everything's good here. Yeah, all my laws are as good as they can be. Yeah, let's go. Okay. Okay. I've got a nice division of mountain. Yeah, I've got a mountain division or brigade on its way. Oh, there goes the first Balkan War. Yeah, mm -hmm. how exciting. Now, I was going to check out my neutrality just to see... If you can interfere. Uh, no, my neutrality is extremely high. How is my neutrality 72? Well, how is that well you're neutral. <laughs> I shouldn't be. That's why. I my neutrality is 62, so... And you haven't even been to war yet, I have. Exactly. Well, still, I'm the British, and I sort of do do Everything. dip my nose in that and this around yeah. the world, so okay. I would have a fairly low neutrality. Well, my, aggre my aggression pr uh, pact of you is broken on the, f the 19th of June, 1914, so uh. <laughs> just be careful. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I'm my good. troops along the the borders are now completely set up. And we are totaling a total of 365,000 men while unmobilized. So that should increase with a third at least to around 450,000-ish yeah. counter troops. That's uh, no, good stuff. That's crazy. Mm -hmm. I have 1 million men in Paris HQ. <laughs> that's insane, man. <laughs> well, I guess that's what they had. I mean, to be honest, well, didn't like, what, 60, 40, 60 million men die during the war? Or was it uh, in total? That was. No, I know. Wasn't but that? I know World War Two had like a total of sixty million people yeah. died, but I'm that pretty sure Russian. that. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that yeah, like what, like ten, fifteen million <laughs> Russians. Yeah. Died. I'm pretty sure that um, that there was at least a two zeroed number, or like at least a zeroed number uh, casualty rate for the the first world war as well so like 10 or 20 or something i don't know yeah i I'll, think it was something like that yeah i, I could know. be wrong though i'm not gonna say too much because well i don't know people take offense to numbers <laughs> so i'm not uh, serious submarine flotilla place of these guys here i'm sticking all my uh, ships actually in one HQ, so I can just stick that on auto. Yep, that's what I did last episode as well, the HM Royal Navy. So I don't have to worry about the Navy, they'll be commanded themselves and they can go around and do whatever they want, you know. Yeah, because yeah, I'm not too good on the whole Navy front, so... It's too much to do, really, you have to send them there and there, they don't really think for... Th it's, it's just, I don't know, Navy, they're really important because you can really just really, really, really cr cripple a nation by doing it, but... Yeah. Fortunately, I deleted all my fleets. <laughs> Did you really? Well, actually, no, no, no. Oh, I, you? I still have. I just. You oh, never mind. I thought this was a different let's play. I'm already getting confused. All oh, right. Because <laughs> <laughs> I have so many let's plays of this game that I, I'm not sure what's going on. <laughs> I'm like, yeah. Wait, I I called them weak ships, subs, massive stack one, mm. massive stack two, massive stack three. In this game here? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah. So yeah, you abandoned the the f Nancy, Luneville, the Schirmeck and Sancti. So if the the Germans are probably gonna occupy it, but you won't be surrounded. You're less likely to be surrounded. Yeah. It's a pretty good idea. Hopefully it holds up nicely. Let's see here. 
You will push through the low countries and through Italy. Yeah. But of course, with Italy on our side, we yeah. I won't dare to declare one on Italy. No worries, Jackie. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I hope not. Italy is a friendly nation. Yeah, I mean... Treaty of they, London. Uh, there we go. They okay, lost, what? They should have lost a load of ma uh, land. Yeah, there you go. They lost the whole of... Holy shit. Serbia just got so big. Wow, yeah. with London, I had nothing to do with that. Yeah, but yeah, yeah indeed, Serbia did grow big. And Bulgaria took most of that as well. I swear on our Let's Play, that didn't happen. Like, they didn't get that much land. No, it's. I think it's because I was at war with them when it happened originally. Yeah. And it somehow aborted it for some reason. Yeah, I guess they, the Ottomans won or something, maybe. Like They, they, were, they, just, they were just off. at a big war with each other down there, still, for a long time. Yeah. Thing happened really. The Russians have kind of weak units, two two and everything. In absolutely everything, some three one, which isn't really that much better. While we have like four three four four, they've even got one unit that's five four. Queen's battalion. Mm. Interesting. But they should even be a bit better, seeing as when you, when their reserves. They're in lower strength, which also yeah. has an impact on their number. That's kind of interesting. Colonial Command wants 136 garrison troops. No. <laughs> that's kind of strange. Yeah, that's a lot. <laughs> that's a lot. <laughs> well, do they want a garrison the US? Yeah, they want a garrison the US. <laughs> 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 that would be hilarious. A lot of people have been saying that I should free Ireland. And I'm like, as much as I would love to, I've actually already spent quite a lot of IC on Dublin and some like Cork and Belfast and stuff when I deployed some IC. So I'm not going to do that, actually. That would be kind of like, I don't know. Whenever I lose a castle or whenever I know that I'm going to lose something, I always tear down everything inside of it and just like leave them with a bittersweet <laughs> drink. That's what the Russians did. Yeah, scorched. Yeah, it's scorched actually policy. Yeah. yeah. Just burn yeah. everything. <laughs> <laughs> Burn it all. Back. Yeah. Burn our own vehicles. Burn ourselves. They can't kill us. <laughs> that would be funny. So, mm, jungle warfare. To go here. Spotting. Yeah, I guess that's okay. Why not? Ah, I got a lot of convoys. A lot of my units are going to finish up now in December, on the eighth, to be exact. Another 20 divisions, I think. That's going to be good. Going to have to make a third army with all these divisions, to be honest. The BEF is going to grow extremely large. I might just keep a, a territorial army, TA. Because it could be useful. Yeah, I'm down to 31 manpower. <laughs> That's bad. Yeah. But then again, you probably... How many troops do you have now again? Like, like 1.2 million men? Yeah, something like that. It's insane. Um, you should because you, you do have some colonial troops as well, I guess. I guess you have men um, reserve and shit like that. So I have ten, uh, like nine point seven monthly gain manpower. So I should be fine if I don't build any other land units. No, you want to have, have a bit of a buffer when the war begins so that you can reinforce your units. Yeah. Oh, your men mobilized. Like, did you build them as reserves or did you build them? Build them as reserves. Yeah. Surely Ooh. that's gonna fuck you over when yeah. you get a war. And I want to reinforce, but you don't. Want yeah. If I were you, I'd give it at least a year of like just gathering like what 120 manpower. Yeah. 100. That's gonna be needed for all the troops. Yeah, well, I need 127 manpower. To yeah. If I were you, I'd just work on IC. Build as much IC as you can instead. Yeah. IC. IC. Yo 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 swag. And then lend lease all of it to you. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Me now. Yeah, I mean, you have so much uh, manpower, don't you? You have like I have 1,500. I yeah. <laughs> Make another 1.4 million men. But yeah. I promised myself not to go below uh, 400, uh, not to go below a million to begin with, because, well, ah, labor force, I don't know. It doesn't really affect. I think the manpower should also, like, I know that it has to do with, like, troops, but in Vicky 2, your entire population is also, like, based on, like, it also affects your industrial, you know, money and all that. 
Oh yeah, did you hear about the new expansion for Vicky? Oh no. It's about the Africa. It's coming out now. It's gonna be called Heart of Darkness, I think. Yeah. And it's gonna uh, be. It's gonna extend it to World War One, apparently. And it's gonna be all about uh, the 1900s race for Africa. Oh, that sounds epic. But yeah, yeah. Apparently, yeah. That's a, they. They shown screenshots of like river boats and stuff like that, and like jungles and all that. So, and yeah. it's not South America. It's been. It's been. Oh, and March of the Eagles comes out the 18th of February. I found out. Oh my god, that's so close. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's really yeah. close. Yeah, that's I like can't wait to jump away. on that. Holy yeah. shit. Look and fun. I don't think there's going to be a beta for it, unfortunately. I think they had a closed one for some developers and that. Yeah. It depends on... Because Paradox has so many studios, you know, developing their games. Yeah. So it all depends on who's making it. I tried to get in contact to get one. And unfortunately, their PR wouldn't, like... They, they never mentioned anything about March of the Eagles. But they did mention something about EU4, but it's a bit too early in production right now or in development. Yeah. Uh, but that's... It's pretty cool that it's so close. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Gonna play, Gonna play Sweden. <laughs> but the, the only thing that I'm that I'm a bit against is I'm such a bigger fan of the the Hearts of Iron engine, the Klausowitz engine, than the engine that supports like sure Crusader Kings engine is fairly good, but the landscape makes me dizzy sometimes. It's like up and down. I don't know. I don't know. Oh, Klaus, Klaus, Ralph. <laughs> Oh, you can stick it on five speed if you want, because I'm not really doing much, and I'm sure my computer okay. will handle it. Because I'm do well, it till do it till at least New Year, because I need to deploy some troops soon. Yeah. All right. Yeah. I mean, I'm, I'm getting my new computer hopefully next week, so nice. That should be pretty. Yeah, I should be able to run obviously on five speed pretty easy. Yeah. I mean, I have a problem in running at five speed sometimes, it, especially in Black Ice, which has completely screwed me over. I can't even run the game anymore for some reason. So really. Yeah, mm. it is. I can run the game, but I can't run the mod, and it, it won't open my German save. So that campaign is going to be thrown in the potter. So I'm going to make I'm going to make one last Hearts of Iron three campaign on vanilla, and I'm probably going to play as Australia because a lot of people have been wanting me to, and I think it can be a fairly fairly cool thing to do. You know, like defend your. Or you <laughs> get wrecked by the Japanese. Well, not in vanilla. In Hearts of Iron Black Ice, they always have like a script that invades Sydney. Yeah. Uh, but no, the, the the Australians never really did get wrecked by the Japanese, and the Americans will probably be there to my help and everything, yeah. so I should be fine. Yeah. But uh, I'm gonna do an English-speaking country because I haven't I haven't done one before, and I'm fed up with all these names that I have to sit there and like correct and like, ugh, I don't know. Just armies and corps work better than like, I don't know. Because <laughs> I hate it when you're playing as like a nation and then you like. The the game runs out of uh, of names for the course, so they start naming them like first core, first navy, or something like that. And it's so yeah. ugly when you have that in in next to a few that are called like like Flieg, Fliegerflotte One or something like that. It's looks weird. Yeah, that's why I delete every HQ. <laughs> yeah. Then again, I'm when I play as German, yeah, I'm kind of all this. Like I like it when it's just in German because I like understand it, and same when I play Sweden because I understand it as well. But when I play as like what, like Afghanistan or something, I don't get Japan. shit. Japan, yeah, they're like uh, Shogun, Hirigun, all that uh, stuff. Shogun. Like. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Uh, do you want to see five? Stick on five speed. Okay, time to make my... Oh my god, so many Welsh divisions there. I'm going to make my ANSAC now. Deploy them here. 40th, 78th, 77th, 76th, and 70th. Well, that's one too many. The 11th Corps is now going to be called the ANSAC. Cool, cool stuff, cool stuff. So ages till I can get armored cars and twins. It's another year till I can get uh, bombers and a year and a couple months till I can get armored cars. Just want to get a uh, motorized infantry and just wreck everyone. That's all I ever wanted. <laughs> My Gurkha divisions are finishing up now. I see what I want to see what they land on. There's two brigades of Gurkha, one infantry, one artillery, so it's kind of like a mixed, not entirely elite kind of thing. So you have got any one yeah. more? Yeah, I've got that one. I think Russia is going to get destroyed by the looks of it. Chicago yeah, they ports. don't have that much 
<laughs> on the border now, actually. They do. They, they're starting to uh, make me a bit worried. Um, uh, probably quite a good tech to go towards. Uh, get engineer brigades and then get assault weapons. Because from the, just reading the description, it looks pretty good. It increases because obviously everyone will be dug down. Mm -hmm. so, it's your assault capabilities, right? Yeah, it means like you get a plus 10% when attacking forts. Mm -hmm. And you just get plus 0 0.2 on hard attack and same on soft. What well, engineers do anyway. So if you're going to build engineers... That could be a decent idea to uh, pick mm. some up. Okay, maybe I could add that as 5th Brigade, maybe. Yeah, I don't know, it could be quite a good idea for you because obviously there's so many forts along the German border. It could be quite mm. useful for you, Prince, but yeah. I don't know. I don't know if I'll have the fuel for it. Oh, oh man. Man. So many. It looks beautiful just seeing the red line of British troops along my border. <laughs> you like it? <laughs> As Don't just... worry. They're they're only there to 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 be sent over to help you <laughs> once once the war breaks out. So my second army. Wait, there's something missing here. I've got five goals. Ah, yes, I can add another core to my first army. Fine, fair enough. And now I've got a total of. This is going to be a scary amount of number that I'm adding into it. Like there we go. BEF is now. A half a million men strong, uh, well, while unreserved, and I'm training another 30 divisions as we speak as well. So many men. Yeah, I don't know yeah. where to put them all. <laughs> it's gonna be a bit. That's gonna be the tricky part. Just encircle Paris. Yeah, exactly. Now I think I'm gonna keep the rest <laughs> in reserves around. Um, wow, you got so many troops in Sosson. You got like seventy. You got like a what was that? Like a fifty divisions or something? No, it can't be. Yeah, but it, it's a hundred brigades. So that's at least like what a, a shit ton of troops. Yeah, two hundred thirty k. Oh wow! Yeah. yeah, that's at least like twenty five divisions, I think. Yeah, it's a full army. Nice, nice. I love naval bases, you know, I'm going to turn England into big ports. Yeah. <laughs> look, at the, look at the amount of naval bases I have right now. I was looking last episode, there's so many, <laughs> just everywhere. Oh, there goes my phone, I will be right back, you guys just keep playing. Alright, so we so, have to, Yeah. now we have to talk about how we invade Dplex. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Please, <sorry. laughs> we have to, you have to somehow get out of your alliance with him and just... Mm, yeah. Oh, but you should provide the navy. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think, and even if we put our navies together, I doubt we would be able to um, yeah. push him back. Let's build like an underwater tunnel <laughs> <laughs> to ship our units through to England. Do, 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 do. Yeah, I'm really, really scared of the Russians. <laughs> I don't think they're going to be able to do anything. Well, I think... So I see so many German units. I think that would be kind of cool, though, if the Russians do get fucked. Because um, it makes it... Because if the Russians do really well, then it gives us a kind of an easy ride. Because if, yeah. if we get... Like, if we struggle, then it just makes it for a more interesting... Uh, let's play. I think, at least. So yeah, it's pretty good. Oh, and there Skype goes. I'm not quite sure what is going on there. I will uh, stop recording and continue recording when uh, Skype is back and, back and running. So yeah, I'll see you guys in a second.